Okay, I've got a pretty good tutorial for you today. This is something I've been trying to solve myself for a while, and now that I'm using Fluent CRM, uh, once again, a lot more in my business. One thing that I really liked, uh, and I've got a tutorial here on my channel all about this, is the ability uh, that I had with ActiveCampaign to validate emails using a tool like Quick Email Verification. Uh, again, I have a tutorial on it. If you use Active Campaign, I'll link it in the description for you. But but I can never accomplish the same thing with Fluent CRM. It was always bothering me. Uh, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about here and, and how I use this. And then I'll show you how I put it together. So what do I mean by email validation? Uh, basically, I give away free courses and trainings and stuff like that. And here's one, for example. And when you click enroll in the training, you give your name and your email and you can sign up for free and get access to it. Well, one of the issues that I was having is that people were signing up with burner emails or disposable or temporary. They have a bunch of different names. It's like a free service. You can go online and get these like spammy email addresses and just sign up. I was also getting a lot of bots. And so I had this desire to basically eliminate all that and only give my free stuff, which is really good to just the people that wanted it, who are real people who weren't using burner emails and stuff like that. So what I do now, and I say this down here, is that I validate all emails. And essentially, if you're using a burner email, uh, you will not be able to get access. So like I said, I was able to do that inside of ActiveCampaign, but for the longest time, I couldn't influence CRM. But I've solved that problem. Now, unfortunately, quick email verification, which is a great tool, doesn't work because the API doesn't work with Fluent CRM. However, I found a tool called Zero Bounce, and this does work, but not in a completely direct way. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. And just in case you Google around, I want to show you another tool that I tried, and that tool is called Campaign Kit. Now, Campaign Kit, interestingly, has a really nice integration with Fluent CRM. However, Unfortunately, as much as I would love to use this uh, at the time I'm making this video, it doesn't actually block burner emails. So it'll block like fake emails, the ones that don't work. It says it to catch its disposable emails, but it just doesn't. I've tested several disposable emails that are pretty big uh, abusers uh, for my stuff and they, they just go right through. I signed up for these burner emails myself and my emails went through. So as much as I want to use Campaign Kit for this, I can't recommend it. But like I said, I can recommend Zero Balance because I am using this right now and it works really, really well. Before we get started, in case you just want to bounce off of this already, um, they do have a free plan. You get 100 emails validated per month. That's not bad for a lead funnel. Uh, if you want to start paying them, their minimum purchase is 2,000 validations, which is, I mean, what a great problem to have. You've got 2,000 people signing up for your email list. That's pretty great, uh, but that's $16 one time. It's like a credit system. You can sign up for their uh, monthly plan, but why would you if you can just you know buy the credits and use them? So I'm I'm not even buying this yet. I'm still still at uh, at this. I got about 70 or 80 people sign up a month, so I'm I'm falling within this. Um, but when I do get more, hopefully one day, it's a good problem to have. I'll pay for it. So this is really good. It's just zerobounce.net. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. And this is what we're going to use. Okay, to walk through that again, we're going to take our signup system. I'm using ConvertBox. User puts in their name and their email. I've got other videos on the channel that actually show this whole funnel to you, so I'm not going to walk through that. This is strictly for the validation and fluent CRMs side, but suffice it to say, they put their name and their email into ConvertBox or any tool. It gets sent over to Zero Bounce. I'll show you how. It gets sent over back to Fluent CRM if it's valid. Now, like I mentioned, there is no like one-to-one -one connection between Zero Bounce and Fluent CRM. I hope there is one day. I'll make another video if they do. So if Zero Bounce, you ever watch this, make an integration. It'd be awesome. But until then, we're going to use a tool uh, that I really like. Uh, it's actually called Pavly, uh, pavly.com or Pavly Connect, which is one of the pavly.com products. Uh, I use this for a lot of things that Zapier doesn't accomplish or Shurchers doesn't accomplish. Uh, and, and they do have this like lifetime access deal. I don't think this countdown's real. I think it just resets every once in a while. It's been here for, for quite a long time. I actually got this deal, um, so you can sign up. I don't know if the pricing will change, um, but I'm going to put a link in the description uh, where you can pick up the lifetime access deal directly and pick it up. It's really worth it. Uh, it's You'll see in a second how, how pretty useful this tool is. So essentially, this is what we're going to build inside of Pavly. We're going to take our trigger, which is our lead coming in, and I mentioned I use ConvertBox, so I'm going to show you the ConvertBox method. However, if you use other tools, you'll just want to replace this trigger with some other kind of webhook or some other kind of direct integration. Somehow you just need to have your trigger be a lead is coming in so that Pavly can take that email address and feed it over to Zero Bounce. Zero Bounce then validates it, 
Pabbly checks if it's valid. If it's valid, it spits it out to Fluent CRM. Now let's build this step by step. Inside of our Pabbly account, we'll click Create a Workflow. We'll give our workflow a name. I'll just call this one FCRM Validation Demo. Click Create. Now we're going to search for our trigger. Like I said, I use ConvertBox. So I'll just search for ConvertBox. Click on that. And our trigger will be there's a new lead submission. And Pabbly is going to give you a webhook URL that you're going to copy. Like I said, I'm not going to go into huge detail on this, but if you're a ConvertBox user, just click on your form, go to form settings, go to integrations, and then add an integration, choose webhook, put it in, send a test, etc. So there's our trigger. The webhook's coming in for us. Now, do this is the action. For the action, we're going to search for zero bounce. There it is, we'll click zero bounce. You need to do an action and our action will be to validate an email and click connect. You're going to need to connect your zero bounce account. So first things first, you'll bounce over to zero bounce, no pun intended, and you'll create an account, you'll sign up for free. Don't even have to give them a credit card. Just sign up for the free 100 email per month validations, get into your account. Once you're inside of your account, you'll want to go to the API section on the left and then click create new API key. Copy that API key. And now we're going back to Pabbly. Now inside of Pabbly, you'll put in your API key and click save. And that'll connect Pabbly so that when you get to this step, like I'm at, you can just select your zero bounce account and click save. So we click here into the email field. And if you don't see any data here, that means you either didn't run a test and didn't submit any data to test with, or you just simply need to refresh and come back to this step and redo the action. Sometimes Pabbly has an issue where you get ahead of yourself and you work on actions before you finish the previous step. You just need to refresh, reconnect it, and then click into the email field and you'll see your lead submission here. So we've got our test data and the email that we want to choose is the dynamic email that came in here. So what this basically does is when I click on this uh, test data here and I click on email, it's just saying any data that comes in from this email field in this webhook from this source in the future, that's the email we're going to use. We're not gonna worry about IP address. We're going to leave it at simple response. And then we're going to save and send a test request. Zero bounce is now going to spit back. And just like you would expect, this test URL or this test email is invalid. And that's good because we want to see that it's actually connected and working. And that's the response that we would expect. So great, we can click save there and then click okay. And now we can kind of condense this down and we're going to move on to the next step, which is to say now that we've gotten a response from zero bounce, we need to filter that response. So we're going to choose add an action step, click on filter. And a filter is a free task by the way. So we're building these compound tasks and unlike with something like Zapier where each one of these would be a task, this in Pabbly is considered free because as it says here, Pabbly doesn't charge for tasks and triggers with internal application steps. So we're using Pabbly to do this, so they don't charge us money. Okay, so let's set up our filter here. We're going to filter, and we're going to filter the data that came back from zero bounce, and we want to filter the status, and we want to filter that if it's equal to. Now, we're actually going to filter for valid emails. Why? Because if you remember, the next step is to send valid emails to Fluent CRM. So that invalid ones never ever even reach our email list. So we want to select the status, which will be dynamic, valid or invalid. And we want to filter this equal to, and the value is valid. I'm manually typing that in. I manually typed in V-A-L-I-D for valid. So as you see here, this filter will only continue if the status is equal to valid. Perfect, click save. Condense that. Next, we're going to add another action step. And this time we're going to search for Fluent CRM and we'll select Fluent CRM. And our action will be incoming webhook feed. And interestingly, like Pabbly lists Fluent CRM as an integration, but really it's just using a webhook, which I'll show you how to do. So we'll click connect. And now they're saying, okay, well, where do we send this data to? So we need to go into our Fluent CRM dashboard. Here we are in Fluent CRM. We need to get to settings. You can do that in the top right, or they've got this new fancy menu on the left. You can just go to settings and we want to go to incoming webhooks and we want to click create webhook, give it a name. We'll just call this one demo validation and then choose when a lead comes in through this method. In this case, you want to think back to the method in which you are acquiring the lead 
for me, it was like a free course lead and it was for a specific course. So maybe I'd want to select a list and tags that would have to do with that. Let's add them to any of the lists that I have here and just put lead magnet there and status is subscribed. And then I'll click create. And then Fluent CRM spits out a URL that I can copy and take back over to Pabli. Here I'm going to paste in the incoming webhook URL and the email address that I want to send over is the email address that came in and the full name will also be the first name. You can do first name, last name, or you can, or if you didn't want to use full name, you could just use first name. I tend to just do that because I don't really care what people's last names are. So I'll just put in the first name. If I wanted to, I could do last names and choose that one as well. Simple response is fine. And we'll click save and send test request. And you can already see the status here. It was created and it was a success. Perfect. Now click save and click OK. Now let's condense this down and walk through it real quick. When a lead comes in through whatever mechanism we're triggering it, I'm using ConvertBox, it sends that email address over to Zero Bounce. Zero Bounce validates it or not. Whatever Zero Bounce comes back with, Pavli is going to filter it. And if it's valid, which means it's an email that we want to come through and get access to our stuff or get on our email list or whatever you're doing, if it's valid, it'll then send that over to our Fluent CRM installation via an incoming webhook that we've programmed to put that email onto whatever list and tag it whatever we want in our list. So the really nice thing about this setup is that you don't have to actually get those junk emails into Fluent CRM and then validate them and make an automation to delete them. You don't have to do any of that. The valid emails are the only ones that ever reach Fluent CRM and an invalid, uh, fake, a bounce, a spam, a disposable. Um, you can get really strict on it and create a filter to block like hello at or info at or contact at. I wouldn't personally do that, but you can do that. Uh, you can create whatever filter you want, but this is the foundation for validating in whatever way you want emails before they ever reach Fluent CRM. Personally, I'm, I'm really pleased that I was able to get this up and running and working really well. Zero Bounce is doing a great job of filtering out those burner fake temporary email addresses so people can't get on my list, take my stuff, and then I email them and it bounces. And I'm able to trust that any emails that actually do get added are real people with real permanent email addresses that I can email and correspond with. So I hope that's helpful. Don't forget, I've put links down in the description where you can get each of the components of what I've walked through here. And if you have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below.